Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. Today we're making a basic pamphlet stitch sketchbook. I'm using this book as an exercise calendar, and this one will be for the whole month of January. The idea is that I get to fill in a page with a drawing for each day that I make the effort to exercise. I figured out that I could get enough pages for a whole month from one 56 by 76 sheet of watercolour paper. I'm using the Ash 185 GSM paper, which is heavy enough to take a good amount of watercolour but light enough to be able to use it for bookbinding. Before tearing the paper down, I did some tests to see which direction the grain of the paper ran, because it's better to fold the paper along the grain line. The grain of my paper was parallel with the long edge, so I marked the middle of the page with a small fold, lined it up with a steel ruler on my cutting mat, and tore the paper carefully in half. I repeated this with the two halves, then turned the four pieces 90 degrees and tore them in half again. I was left with eight pieces of paper, which I folded in half using a bone folder. You could do this in a batch, but because I only had eight sheets and my paper was on the heavier side, I chose to fold them individually. I measured and marked spots for three punched holes in the folded ditch on one of the sheets. One of the holes is in the exact centre, and the other two are about 2.5cm from the top and bottom of the book. I used that first sheet as a template to punch matching holes in the remaining pages, which I did in two batches of four sheets. The pages all together are called a signature and I used my signature to help measure and tear down a heavyweight cover for the book, which I also punched holes in using the template in my all. I used a strong thread and needle to sew my signature together using a three hole pamphlet stitch. Ideally you'd use a wax linen and thread but it's not 100% necessary. My thread is the heavyweight cotton which I chose because I liked the colour. I want to tie my thread off inside the book, so I started sewing in the middle of the book at the centre hole, leaving a tail of about 5cm. I sewed through all 8 sheets in the cover, then re-entered at the hole near the base, sewing all the way back through to the middle sheet of the book. The next step was to go all the way to the top hole, sewing back through to the cover, then re-entering through the centre hole and ending inside the book. Pull all your threads tight in line with the spine, making sure that the threads are laid out either side of the sewing thread so that you can catch it when you tie the ends into a square knot. And that's it, the book is done, with enough pages to allow for a full month of daily drawing. You can personalise it in any way you like. I did some basic stamp relief printing using letterpress type, just by hand instead of setting and using a press. I mixed and rolled out a little crown filled water based ink because it's easy to clean up and the pigments are really great and it dries fast. I then rolled the ink onto each piece of type using a tiny brayer and pressed it into the paper.
should apologize Got stuck in my throat Or something This is an awkward time Would you prefer a note Or something I put a sheet of wax paper between each page as I went through the book to protect the pages while the ink dried. And that's it, a custom month-long watercolour sketchbook to use as a visual, tangible record of my daily exercise. Two New Year's resolutions in one, exercise and draw every day. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share and comment if you like this video. Stay tuned to Spines and Splines for more creative projects and simple exercises you can do in your studio or workspace. Cheers!